After visiting Hiluboka nad Vltavo, our next destination was Chesky Krumlov. The Chesky Krumlov, a beautiful medieval town, situated on the banks of the Viltava River, in the southern Czech Republic. It is home to the magnificent Krumlov Castle and a historic medieval city center. The town of Chesky Krumlov is a UNESCO protected This town dates back to the 13th century The archaeological evidence indicates that this area has been settled since the Stone Age At the beginning of the 13th century, until the beginning of the 17th century, the town was owned by the House of Rosenberg, a family of Czech lords. The Rosenbergs carried out significant changes to Krumlov, including the building of churches, houses and markets, and under their rule the town grew and prospered. Darker times were to come. During the Thirty Years' War though, normality was restored in the 17th century. Since then Chesky Krumlov prospered under the influence of another aristocratic family the Aegon Burks, who in turn would be succeeded by the House of Schwarzenberg during the turbulent first half of the 20th century. Many historic European towns and cities, underwent substantial damages during the World Wars, the area surrounding Chesky Krumlov, fortunately escaped major combat, and the town therefore managed to preserve its historical center intact. Due to this reason today, visitors can admire its truly spectacular beauty and important historical sites. The narrow paved stone streets that pass through the old town, tourists encounter a captivating atmosphere. Surrounded by more than 300 historically protected buildings, The buildings of the old town have retained their medieval and renaissance appearance and are still adorned with their original decorations. Chesky Krumlov Main Square is surrounded by colorful buildings including the town hall. The square itself is not large but is lined by houses and other buildings of various sizes including private residences both big and small. The main artistic landmark of the square is the plague column, topped with the statue of the Virgin Mary and eight saints, the patron saints of the town and protectors against plague. Thank <laughs> you.
In the Middle Ages the river's most important function was for navigation as the region was settled its need for timber to build towns and castles. Rapidly grew this need was satisfied by floating logs from upriver forests down the Vltava River. A beautiful view of Chesky Krumlev, can be seen from the river. Without two main buildings Chesky Krumlev skyline will be worthless, the castle, and the church tower of St. Abitus. A jewel of Renaissance and Baroque architecture, in the region of Bohemia, the complex of the Krumlev castle, stands proudly on a rock above the Vltava river and the old town of Chesky Krumlev. It is one of the largest castle complexes in Central Europe. It is comprised of 40 buildings and palaces distributed around five courts. The Cloak Bridge derives its name from the fortifications that once protected the western side of the castle. The three-storied covered arched bridge, 
stands on massive stone pillars, this technically daring and impressive work, connects the fourth and fifth courtyards of Chesky Krumlov Castle. Occupants of the Chesky Krumlov Castle, created its infamous bear moat, in the 18th century, not as a defense against attackers but rather as an expansion of their bear breeding hobby. The tower surrounded by the residential palace, at the little castle, is situated on a narrow rocky promontory. The tower represents, a combination of the Gothic and Renaissance styles, as is evident from its external appearance. The tower, in the little castle, are the oldest part of the castle complex dating from the first half of the 13th century.